in the world of COD, the Dallas Open is big. It was the first event of the Call of Duty World War II season taking place from December 8th till the 10th. Nearly 200 teams from all over the world attended the tournament, and with $200,000 on the line, it was one of the biggest COD events ever. Most of these teams battled through the gauntlet, aka open bracket play, until eight emerged victoriously. These teams then headed to the championship bracket with the 16 qualified pool play teams. There was a little more drama this year than normal with a hoax bomb, ooh, hoax bomb for yikes, as well as a server issue that uh, deleted the matchups for the open loser bracket, but ultimately all ended up okay and the competition continued on. It's true. Now, I also want to mention that Malik is still wearing the glasses. Yep. <laughs> Echo Fox has struggled a bit since starting on the COD scene. Oh no, keep those on there, know, Tiger. Cool. But they managed to sweep Luminosity into seventh and eighth place alongside Team Envious. Not to be confused with Team Envy. It is confusing. This earned Fox their best Cod land land placing yet hard to say out loud especially on a Thursday sharing fifth and sixth place with e United now FaZe Clan another favorite team but they've been criticized lately for their combination of players FaZe proved doubters wrong however by smashing through their open bracket to ultimately take fourth place Yes, and as for the reigning American champs, Optic Gaming, Tough. they sent Team Splice to the losers bracket uh, finals early in, but never turn your back on your enemies. Splice, Splice came back with vengeance and knocked Optic out in the semifinals, leaving them in third place. This meant it was Splice and Caliber in the grand final. The back and forth between these two teams was epic. Caliber started out very strong, but Splice came back hard. For a moment, it seemed like Splice would take it, but Caliber barely managed to pull ahead in the last game, giving them the win. Caliber's first place finish earned them $80,000 as well as 25,000 pro points. Fun fact, Splice is the only EU team that made the top eight. The rest were American teams. To learn, to learn more and keep track of the COD Esports world, visit MLG.com or follow them on Twitter at COD World League. And keep an eye out for the COD World League, New Orleans Open happening January 12th to the 14th. There's another $200,000 prize pool and 256 team open bracket. It's the last global open before Pro League, so check it out at mlg.com slash cwlnola, N-O-L-A. Man, I'll tell you something. Yeah. January is shaping up to be quite the month for eSports. Mm -hmm. And it's my birthday. And it is Malik's birthday, which I think takes precedence over all of those yeah, things. Yeah, sure.